In this video, I'm going to go through five of my most used reverbs. Uh, why I use them, what I use them on, and why these are my five most used reverbs. Okay, the first one that I'm going to drag in is Spaces 2 by East West and Sounds On Light. Now, this reverb in particular is my, my go-to for basically sounds that are highly authentic in terms of opera houses, uh, churches, courtyards, caves, anything that is a particular sound I want to get, i.e. if I want to put a certain sound in a certain room. These are what I consider some of the best impulse responses you will find in a, in a reverb. So that one there is my high quality impulse responses. Now I have two of the lexicons. These are the 224 and the 480L. These are both on the UAD uh, 2 platform and both incredibly good reverbs. Of the two, the 480L is more user friendly and has a lot more functionality. Uh, so we can edit this and uh, really create reverbs that uh, we can we can change the sound dramatically. The next one we are going to show you is the Capital Chambers, also on the UAD2 platform. Now, basically, what you have here is four convolution reverbs, really, uh, different rooms, and then four different mics and editable parameters um in terms of sound it sound wise it is incredible you may think oh i've only got four rooms four impulse responses in theory uh four different mics to select from um you may think that but believe me that these these are the most incredible sounding uh impulse responses you will ever hear uh straight out of the capital chambers um this one is well worth checking out now the next one is a, a very old plugin but still used uh for one purpose and one purpose only the ir1 fall by waves now it's not the best of reverbs but what I will use it for is I can load my own impulse responses. So that's what's great about this. Uh, not so much the content that it, it comes stock with, but if you are looking to add your own impulse responses, if you're going to go out and record impulse responses, um, this is a great uh, reverb that you can actually utilise your own impulse responses. So what we'll do now is see what some of these reverbs sound like on a vocal. So here we'll start with the East West Spaces 2 and all I'll do is I'll just hit play and then flick through a few of the presets. You're my one and only You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only you're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only you're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only You're my one true love So as you can hear, that is a great sounding reverb uh, Has a lot of functionality and uh, let's go on to the next one, which will be the Capital Chambers. So we'll set this up as a send. And we'll throw some reverb at these different impulse responses and rooms. You're my one and only, you're my one true love. 
You're the one that holds me, the boy that I dream of. You're my one and only, you're my one true love. You're the one that holds me, the boy that I dream of. You're my one and only, you're my one true love. You're the one that holds me. The boy that I dream of. Now, personally, I love how that capital chamber sounds. Uh, let's go now to the 224. So this one I like to use for the vocal, especially um, you've got a vocal plate. So let's now send uh, this reverb out to the vocal plate. You're my one and only. You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only you're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only So that there is the Lexicon 224 Now, very similar reverb But we have a lot more control with this one And we have the uh, Lexicon 4 ATL You're my one and only you're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only you're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only you're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of So I think we can all agree that those four are great sounding reverbs And you can see why I use them And the, the reasons I use them are very self-explanatory On this sort of uh, vocal It's, uh, you know, they, they all sound amazing So... The last one we have here, Waves IR1. Uh, now, personally, I don't like the way that the reverbs sound uh, on this, but it's all for the fact that I can import my own impulse responses, which are unique to me. You're my one and only. You're my one true love. You're the one that holds me. The boy that I dream of. Now, I'm not a massive fan of how these factory impulse responses are sounding. So I'll show you what it is that I'm I'm utilizing this for. So here we have a basement impulse response that I have recorded. And uh, I'm just going to go through, show you what I can do with uh, with my own impulse responses using the Waves IR1. You're my one and only. You're my one true love. You're the one that holds me, the boy that I dream of. You're my one and only. So this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in um, a, a a reverb that I I really really like, and it is uh, I I recorded this under a an, under an old viaduct. 
Um, so it's got a great sound to it. Uh, let's just play this one and um, have a play around with it. But these, bearing in mind, these are all impulse responses. You can go out and record them. You could record, I don't know, your bathroom impulse response. Um, real easy to do. Lots of videos online how to do it. And then you can load them into your uh, into this Waves IR1 and um, utilize them in your own mixes. You're my one and only. You're my one true love You're the one that holds me The boy that I dream of You're my one and only You're my one true love You're Okay, so of all five reverbs, which one would I choose for vocals? Uh, vocal, I personally... I would choose the Lexicon 224. I love how this vocal plate sounds on vocals, uh, especially vocals that are sung, uh, sung vocals rather than like rap vocals. Uh, rap vocals, on the other hand, I actually like to use the 480L, uh, mainly because uh, I don't want the, um, the reverb tail to ring out uh, as long and I find with the 480L you have a lot more control over the actual sound of the reverb. What reverb would I use on drums? Personally I love to use the capital chamber on drums. That is one of my go-to's on drums. I love just putting drums in these capital chamber rooms. Which reverb would I use for orchestral such as strings, brass, anything like that? No prizes for guessing on this one, but the east-west spaces. Just because I can simply pick up uh, any instrument uh, that is intended to be played on um, on a stage, such as a uh, as, as like this, as in um, in a hall, and emulate that actually being played in that specific hall. I mean, you can go into the presets and um, select like churches, for instance, and you've got like a LA church here. You know, put in, put in certain sounds like brass, strings, uh, violins, anything into these sorts of rooms. They sound incredible. So these are my five favourite reverbs I like to use whilst here at the Audio Animal Studio. Visit audioanimals.co.uk, check out our studio services. If you want to get your track mixed, hit down here, come visit us, have a chat with us, um, give us an email uh, or a phone call, and um, we look forward to working with you. <laughs>